What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in Forza Horizon 2 and we're going to be taking a look at another one of the Fast and Furious cars and one of the new Fast and Furious car pack uh, additions. Now, the car we're going to be looking at today All right. so what are we is doing? the 96... Well, actually, we need to actually get back out of that and then back out of the 350C and get into the auto show because we're going to be looking at the 69 Charger, the off-road Baja built insane 69 Charger. Uh, I can't wait to take this thing out. This thing is going to be like, a, not only is it going to be a beast over, actually no, sorry, it's not a 69, it's a 68. But either way, thing is a beast off-road. I mean, I'm sure, I haven't even looked at the horsepower figure yet, but I'm sure it's more than up there. And I can't wait to take it, not only take it off-road, but take it off of like off of the main jump on Storm Island, take it down some trails, see what it can really do. And I mean, it's like... You look at this thing, and you're just like, I need one. I want one, like, right now. Like, I need this in my driveway, and I need the keys, like, immediately. Get them, right now. I need them. But, honestly, like, I would love... One of the, one of the coolest things about it is, like, you would be able to... You'd, you'd be able to destroy things like Jeeps off-road, and it's just like... It looks so menacing doing it. Let's see... We're starting out with 650 horsepower, 660 pound-feet of torque. And actually, hold on. We're going to fully build the thing. And I'm actually curious to see how it's going to come out. Upgrade the carb. Puts a 687 horsepower. Go ignition. 699 horsepower. I'm not sure, honestly, what this thing is going to come out to power-wise. Very curious. Probably somewhere around the... Probably somewhere around the, like, 900s-ish. 847, maybe high 8s. High 8s, low 9s. 871. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking high... Oops, I'm thinking high 8s for this car. 887? I don't know. I don't know. 895. So close to 900 horsepower. But honestly, it's kind of close enough to where it's, like, as near as makes no difference. So, we're going to go ahead and see, let's see, brakes, we need those, <laughs> we need those, I mean, it's light-ish, but it's not extremely light, well, actually, I mean, it's only 3,200 pounds, I mean, it's like, for a car like this, it's pretty freaking light, clutch, we need, we need one, we need an upgraded one, transmission, now, I am going to, well, actually, hmm, I'm going to put a race transmission in this one, Drive shaft, get us up the carbon fiber drive, the carbon fiber drive shaft, and a race diff. So we have all of the adjustments, yo. And let's see, wheels and tires. We got 285s. I'm guessing front and rear. Yeah. So we're gonna upgrade those a little bit to 305s in the front. And let me guess, three. Oh, we can do we can do 305 square, or we could do 315s in the back. I'm gonna go with the 315s in the back. Hell yes. The wheels, we're going to leave them alone. The, the standard wheels in this car look amazing. Let's see. Aspiration conversion. Twin screw supercharger. We're pushing this thing over 1,000. I guarantee it. Oh, it is time. 1,045 horsepower. Oh, yeah. Give me that 1,154 horsepower in an off-road 1968 Charger. I mean, who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that? That's like, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant, and I cannot wait to test this thing out. Let's see what it can do. Oh my god. It just keeps like, I'm trying to get it to go in a straight line. It keeps spinning. It can hardly catch traction. It's got so much power. Holy crap. Ow. I actually saw a side trail. I want to go up. I saw a side trail. Divert from main road immediately. It's direct order. I love those tires sitting right there in the back. They just like, they set this thing off so well. Oh, sweet. I didn't realize this one up here. Nice. You know what? If you want a lifted off-road muscle drift car, this thing's got you covered. It's a pretty specific, like, category of car, 
but still, I, it's got you covered. I mean, really, dude, it's this thing has got you. I want to head back. I don't know. If we head back this way, I believe we're heading back to relatively... Actually, eh, that's relatively the same area. It's like, excuse me, massive, like, slab of Dodge Charger coming through. Lifted Dodge Charger at that. Let's have some interior. Holy crap, look at that. That's like, that's a badass interior if I ever saw one. I mean, that is stripped out clean. I mean, that, like, look at the cage. That is awesome. Need an interior like this in my life. That looks so cool. Down to fourth. Powered around the corner. I mean, you just drive this thing with the throttle. You drive it with the rear end. That's, that's it. I mean, you can power it everywhere. Eh, it's Ferrari Enzo. We could probably, yeah, we could more than take him. What am I saying? Probably. We could more than take him. Let's race him. See how this goes. Oh, yeah. Come on, then. Power! We turned around. We turned around. What the heck? That's a little weird. Didn't expect that, but okay. I can't get traction. I can't get traction. That's like, that's the biggest problem I'm having. He's just pulling away because he's like, oh, man, I get traction, yo. And I'm like, uh, traction? What is this traction you speak of? Never heard of it. I take He's taking an alternate route, and I'm kind of scared because I'm not sure how well this route is going to work compared to his damn tree. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can't touch the throttle hardly because, like, I, I'll lose, not, not even lose all grip. I'll just be like, everything will be gone. I'm just going to go straight. I'm just going to go straight. I, I have, like... Not really this that I have nowhere else to go. It's just that, like, I'm just going to power through and hopefully beat him. I don't know where he is. Nope! Oh, dear. We've messed it up. Some cars that aren't him. I don't see him, though. I don't see him on the map. So if I can ever freaking get traction... Come on. Dang it! Oh, my God! Go! Go already! Oh my god! Wait, I see him on the- No! No! No, I saw him on the map. I saw him on the map. Turns out this thing is harder to drive than I thought. You know what? If we didn't hit those trees, we would have been able to actually take it. Or that tree. But the thing is, this thing is really wide, and it likes to run into, well, trees. <laughs> it likes to run into, well, trees. Yes, I know. Head-to-head -head loss. Don't rub it in. Still getting used to this car. It's It's got more traction issues than I thought. It's still fun, though. It's fun to drive. The suspension is so floaty that it just jumps everywhere. Let's see about a you know, 360. Not bad. You know what I want to do? I want to turn around. You know why? Because the jump's that way. What do we need to do? We need to take the jump. I mean, it's 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 basic, guys. I mean, it's, <laughs> there's no way. I've just realized. I've just realized this thing's got 315s on the back. That's still not as big as the square setup size that I have on my truck. I've got 325 square on that thing. This thing, th I mean, this thing is spinning. But at the, at the same time, think about it. It's pretty tricky to spin, like... 315s, much less 325s on dry pavement. This thing is doing it like all the way up to 6th gear. It's a monster. This thing is so floaty though in the suspension. It's going to get so much air off that jump. I mean, it's going to launch itself. It's going to be a damn space shuttle. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. Get yourself under control. No, 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 no. No! No, 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 no! The trees. It's official. I hate trees in Horizon 2. Trees suck. We need to do that again. Line up the pre-jump a little bit more to the left. And we should have it. I mean, we should, we should have it, but the thing is... This thing likes to be... I don't know, almost magnetic to trees. This thing around. 
I wonder if we start in fourth, will it spin? Just floor. Yeah, once the once the power band hits, yes, it will. There's another like pro drive guitar, but we're not challenging them right now. We got much more important things to do, like jumping. Thing sounds so good, and in combine that with the supercharger wine, whoo! It's clean, dude. It's a monster. No, you. Oh my god, you stupid little golf. You ruined my run. I don't know about ruined it, but. Go, 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 go. Get your speed up. We've got plenty of speed. We're good. That's that same Enzo from earlier. Line up more to the left. More to the left. Come on. Oh, it's gonna be good. No, it's not. Damn trees. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to do this jump from the other direction because either the trees hate this car or the this car hates the trees or both. Um, or or I'm just not aiming the thing properly. One of those three. It's certainly not the third option. Not in the slightest. Slight hint of sarcasm there, trust me. <laughs> break, 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 break. Oh dear. Ooh. Eh, not too bad. Brakes aren't bad. A little bit of a last-minute brake test, but, I mean... And go! Spin, 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 spin. God, I can't get any traction at all. And it's slightly annoying. And the suspension is so floaty, it's so hard to correct this car into a tree. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen even before it happened. I need to find another pro driver tar and challenge them and win and use this car's like abilities to my advantage. You know what? We're going to drive around until we find a pro driver tar and we're going to challenge them and we're going to destroy them. It's got so much power that it's like it likes to pull itself to one side and hi Supra. Hi, Supra. But no, it likes to pull itself to one side because it's so, like... It, the suspension is so soft, and it's just weird. Come on, don't lose it now. I just need to find a pro driver tar. What levels are these guys? None of them would show. Great. Okay. Oh, yes. There's one. It's probably that same guy in the Enzo. What do you want to bet? It's that same guy from, with the Enzo. I bet you. No, wait. No, it's not. What's he driving? Can't tell yet. Oh, wait. No way. Okay. Time to go up against the McLaren. All right, buddy. Let's see what you got. Start race. Oh, nope. Maybe not. While he turns his 650S around. Go, 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 go. I'll just, you know, go this way. I mean, no problems with taking a slightly, slightly different route, right? No, you know, no, no problems with that at all. Side trail. It's all, it's all good. Taking the Jeep route. Back on the main road. I mean, when you're in a lifted, you know, lifted 1968 Charger, who takes the main road, right? Let's go this way. It's like, let's just go this way. Not even care. Oh, dear. That might get us in trouble. It's already starting to get us in trouble. Help. Help. Oh, dear. And he's just spinning now. Come on. Oh, no. Trees. This car's worst enemy, literally. Nope. Okay. You know what? We're going to do a race, and we're going to follow the actual the actual course. Because if we don't follow that course, it's pretty much guaranteed that we're not going to be able to win it. Because, man, I wanted to, like, use this thing's off-road abilities to its advantage, but, or to our advantage. But, jeez. Looks like it's not going to happen that way. But still, it's an awesome car. It's beastly for going off-road. 
And if you want something that's just like hilarious to drive, pick one up and max it out. It'll be fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.